Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a different Bible for you, as always. What have I got? So it's an NIV Holy Bible by Zondervan Kids, apparently. It says it somewhere on here. It's on the back of there anyway. And I actually purchased this one in my local shop. It comes in a nice little box. And when I got it, it was fifteen ninety nine. But then I looked on Amazon for you so I could give you a, an alternative of where you could get one today. And I couldn't believe it. It says £64.95. What's going on there? Clearly, this version, my one, is a 2004 version. And the one on Amazon was a bit later. But even so, that jumped up an awful lot, didn't it? So what has it got? It's a plasticky front cover. It says Bug Collection Bible. What does it say? $15.99. There's the cool dragonfly. It's an Italian duo tone. There's the ISBN for you. So what do we have in this one? That's the box. We can lose the box and let's get down to the Bible. Let's see what we've got in this Bible. Well, first of all, I threaded some ribbon down through the spine just to make it a bit different. Saw it done on a YouTube video and I thought, oh, I like that idea. As I said, on here it's got NIV, Zonovan down there, Holy Bible. On the back, I've glued a doily because I find it easier to sort of grip. It says it's got the ISBN in there lovely feel say leather leather with a dragonfly on it this one i've put in half moon tabs you can see them or half sun tabs whatever you want to call them cut them out with a hole punch that i had a round or a half punch that i had of something of my artwork by the looks of it with the colorings on it then just wrote the three first letters so i'd know what they were it's quite a compact size. I do have the sizes for you. It's in centimetres and it says it's a 12.7 by 2.54 by 17.78 centimetres. It is classed as a compact size. That's pretty compact, but it's big enough. Let's have a look. What have we got in? Because it was um, sort of a children's Bible, the bug collection, I thought I'd go with my younger artwork. All different things in. You can see the pages are green in there. And again, it says presented to me from me. And when did I get this one? On the 4th of this month. So there you go. Quite a quick one. And I thought something a bit different. I'll do like a flipping or a book turning page, which says open me. And you've got pictures. Now, if you don't have artwork to go in, that's fine. You can glue pictures in it. You can draw on it. You can do patterns. It's up to you. It's your Bible. I'm just showing you a different option. So here we go. Holy Bible, New International, containing the Old Testament and the New Testament. And it's Zonda Kids. Open me. There we go. Another one of my pictures. What do we have over? As normal, you have all the when it's published, who it's published by, what year it's published, all that sort of information. We have a contents. We have readers' helps. So these are actually have their own pages in the back of the Bible, which we'll get to in the end. It has the books of the Bible and what page they are on. It has the preface. All pretty normal. As it goes, oh, another open me. Here we go, bit more colour. I do like colour. I do like to mess on one piece of paper. I copy things. I find pictures on Pinterest that I like. And instead of just having one picture, I do lots. I do patterns. As you can see, I put stampy effects. I'll put flowers, butterflies. 
Anything you like goes up my pictures. Let me get into the Old Testament. Open me up in the beginning, Genesis 1 1. Well, I thought my nature picture fitted in there because, as we said, Genesis is all about the creation. And what comes first? All our plants and animals. So that one went in there. These, you might be saying, well, what's that? Were, it's on card. Hole punched, hole fixes, bit of wool on the back. I've put some of the scripture. So clearly this one is in the beginning. God created the heavens and earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was dot dot dot. Will you carry on reading there? And it's Genesis 1. So that was that one. That's all they are. Piece of card printed off. Because it's not a journaling Bible as such, it's got two columns. There's not a lot of space to write anything. So this is when the cards came in handy if I wanted to be journaling. You see, they don't even have a big space when they change over books. So I went through and went through. Trying to see if I've got anything else. Let's have a look. We keep going. All the pretty little tabs on the top help with the colour. Can't be doing no colour in here, can I? And this is how we go through. Easy to read, although it's only a small book. And although it's two columns, this is still very readable. Well, hopefully you can read it. I mean, we can get, if we want the big text, we can get it, can't we? I've got on order a um, Inspire Prayer giant print. <laughs> That's going to be big. And obviously, I'll do a review when that one comes through. Looks like we've got another card coming up. Let's see what this one is. It's in Job. Here we go. The Spanish holiday. When we went on holiday, I took photographs of things I liked. There was a gate. There was men. Meerkats, plants, there was a people sitting on a bench. And I just drew them up all in one go. So this one has Job 1. In the land of, is that Uz, there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. He had seven sons and three daughters. Dot, dot, dot. You carry on reading. So it's to get you going, really. Different wool on that one. We're going to Psalms. Ah, Psalms 23. I like this one, don't I? And this was fuchsias are plenty. So I did my fuchsias on it. But then I added some little bits on there as well. And there's a little dolly down there. All sorts of different things go on my pictures. So Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his, same, for his name's sake. Dot, dot, dot. Carry on. Psalm 23. Just a bit different. Something different to do for me, isn't it? So what's this one? Psalm 91. And my dragonfly is actually, I could admit, is my favourite picture. It's not a lot on it. But there's dubs, there's a monkey bull or ape, some sort of swan going on there, flowers, and a dragonfly. And there's just something about that picture I did I liked. What have we got on this one? So it's Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And we carry on. I do like to write out the scripture. They, it, for me personally, just me personally, it means an awful lot more when I do that. 
angel and the tiger. So this was an angel I'd done. There's a tiger in there, There's butterflies and things. Oh, it was even a crab and flowers and a bit of pattern. All on one sheet. So what have I done on this? Psalm 139. Not highlighted it in here, but I have written it out a bit. Number 13. Oh, it says 13. For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And you can carry on with 139. It was a bit that I wanted about the... That actually God has knit me together. And it, it, it sort of rings home for me because I do a lot of knitting and crocheting. And, and it's probably not the way it's meant. But for me, it was you're, you're designing something. You are making something whether it's with wall or whether it's God making us as a person. Okay, over. What do we have on this one? So this was a really big mix one. It was called Toady. Now it was called Toady because I had Toad of Toad Hall in there. I've even got Peter Rabbit. And there's a Dulux dog and there's a giraffe. And it's a case of what can you spot? There's a, a poo bear eating his honey. There's a bear there with a bandage on. A balloon, some pattern, an elephant, cups and saucers, all sorts going on on one page. What do we have on this? The sayings of King Lemuel, an oracle his mother taught him. O oh my son, O oh son of my womb, O oh son of my vows, do not spend your strength on women, your vigour on those who ruin kings. What this is, is the, is the Proverbs 31. And when it gets there, it's, it's actually number 10 that I would normally pick up on. It's the, the wife of noble character. So that was why that card was in there, because I like that one. Let me go through. You can see, all marked up. So this is a reading Bible more than a journaling Bible. And it's not because it's like it says, you know, a kid's Bible. It's not written silly. It's still written very sensibly. And still a nice Bible to have at any age. I don't like it when they put ages on. Now, there's a blank page. That's unusual for me, isn't it? Perhaps we should get something on there. Here we go. So we're into the New Testament. I found some stickers. And a small one of my art, just a small piece. Lots of pattern going on, but a small piece of art. And another one, believe in myself. There you go. We go into Matthew. And this is like, was it the red letter Bible, isn't it? Because when Jesus speaks, it's in red. Or when God speaks, it's in red. What do we have on this one? The cross. So it's got a church. It's got a cross. It's got flowers. There's another church in the distance there. Quite a simple one, but a meaningful one. Hope you can see these okay. So what's on the back of this then? It says, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Here we go. So he's teaching us how to pray. It's the Lord's Prayer, isn't it? Matthew 6, 9 and onwards good and then actually i came into luke and i found the lord's prayer again luke 11 and it says oh sorry it didn't show you the picture let's have a look at the picture this time so this is rosy rosy so there's roses on here an eye and lots of pattern work going on and just little bits and doodles and dots and as a ladybird and flowers all sorts all sorts on the picture. So, where do we get to? One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. And it's Luke 1 and 2. So, if you come here, there's Luke 11, sorry, 
1 to 2. When you say, hello be your name. And it goes on. Your kingdom come. Give us each day your daily bread. Forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. And it goes on. So it's in Matthew and in Luke. Which I thought was pretty good. Let me go through. Let me come through to our next card that I've put in. Ephesians. So this is a Moorcroft mix. Now I love, I don't know about you, but I love the Moorcroft pots. So I just wanted them all in a mixture. This was sort of the chimney depicting where they're made and fired off. And this was different vases and patterns that they have on them. So what do we have on this one? Ephesians 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints in Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. To carry on. So this is up here. And it leads you into Ephesians. All different types of wool on these. I don't know if you can see these. So they all sit together and complement each other. Now there's not any more cards but what we get to now, once we work our way through, we keep going. Bit of a space to do something with that one, won't I? So we get through to the end of the actual Bible itself in words. And we've got our special section. So this one is the table of weights and measures. A sticky one. It was a bear. You didn't think I could go all through the Bible without a bear, did you? <laughs> Readers helps when you get stuck. Perspectives from the Bible. Again, you know, you are angry, so it goes to say, well, go there and read about you are angry. Comes through. We've got prayers of the Bible. I tell you the prayer, and it tells you where to go and find it. Here we go, like down here, the Lord's Prayer was in Matthew and Luke. Yeah, so that's good. We keep coming. Is that going to tell me it's in... No, that's just other bits it's telling me. Ministry of Jesus. So it's the event, the place, and which book it's in, and where it's at within that book of the Bible. The parables of Jesus, the miracles of the Old Testament, the miracles of Jesus. We have another open me. What's this one got? Oh, there you go. Smiley faces. Little old fashioned pram, caravan, gates, welly boots, a harp, all sorts of things. There was another dragonfly up there. All sorts of things going on. We're nearly at the end then. A full spread. One of my arts. So mixed up. But I like them. And I even did a Beatrix. Back in 216 I did that Beatrix. I found all the different characters and put them on one sheet. I had fun doing it. And you've got the green at the back of the book at Bible again. And there you go. Compact. But full. And dressed. As I like to dress them, keep them nice and tidy. And as I said, lots of different walls that you can just handle if you like. The soft walls on there. But a very nice, compact Bible. I do hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough with me. And you'll look forward to our next one together. So I will say, stay safe as always. Go and enjoy some fresh air if you can. And I'll see you next time. Oh, you might want to give me a thumbs up. You might like to subscribe if you've not seen my channel before. Do go and check out my other videos. There's lots of Bibles to see and share. And lots of ideas. So there we go. To end this one today. So it's bye bye for now.